Nope, we wanted to get off the beaten path. I'm pretty sure this qualifies. Holy shit. We're almost here. Unbelievable. Kind of see it down there. Beautiful in here. Here's the campsite. Cool. Ooh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, <laughs> it's so crazy. Something been chewing on it. Wow. How cool is this? So do you want to see something kind of scary? Look at this tree. This tree is friggin' massive. And let me show you how much is gone. And it's rotten inside. It's incredible this thing is still standing. See that great big chunk? That chunk, that's like more then two thirds of the way through this massive old growth tree. This thing is ginormous and it's still healthy. I have no idea how this thing's still standing. Wow. I would not want to be anywhere around 200 feet around radius around this thing when she finally comes down. Because that, it's a big tree. You know, what's crazy is I've been, I've been wanting to go to this lake. I just happened to be just looking at the map at the Cascade Foothills, trying to see if uh, potentially there was a lake somewhere out here that looked fishy. Very little known about this lake, not much online. And it was a hell of a drive in, but just beautiful old growth forest. Yeah, there's like a campsite up there and it looks like somebody just kind of parked their boat here permanently, but I can see why. I mean, very few people come this far out, but there was a bald eagle circling around earlier, which means there must be something in the lake to catch. So really looking forward to exploring this brand new fishery in this Alpine Lake in November, no less. It's been kind of a warm start to the uh, early winter, late fall. And we were fortunate enough to have an opportunity to fish way up high. All right, let's go catch a fish, fish on. And the adventure begins <laughs> just trying to get out of here with all these logs I think I think I found the way out <sighs> try to walk backwards yeah there you go Sidestep are good. Oh, well, I got a couple rods today. I've got uh, an indicator set up on my five weight. I still have the egg that I was using plus a balanced leech. 
And then I've got a balance leech on my three weight. I think because I'm gonna paddle over to the leeward side, I am going to start just dragging this, uh, this leech over. So I'm feeling relatively confident that potentially whatever's in here might eat, eat a leech. So we'll see. Guess I probably should fish the edges. Let's see if these fish in here are hungry. I would think because they know, you know, the snow's coming and ice is coming pretty soon, they should, if there's anything in here, they'll want to eat. That's my theory anyway. And I have no idea how deep it is either. Yeah, it does, huh? That's probably why if there's fish that can live here year round, it would have to be pretty deep considering how high up we are. I guess if we're gonna get, if there's gonna be a Sasquatch sighting, this is probably where it would be. <laughs> Beautiful lake though, holy smokes. A good sign. Wow, it's a decent looking brown. Holy crap, yeah. This is a decent brown. It's like 13, 14 inches. Look at this thing. Holy crap. What a beautiful brown trout. Oh, it's all colored up too, like with the fall, you know? Bounce leech against the shore. Come on, this is barbless. Just come right out, there we go. Nice fish, everybody. Sweet. They are, there is fish in here. Nice ones too. There we go. Fish on. A nice brown. Pretty fish. Beautiful. I am so excited to have finally found this lake. I've been trying to find this thing for the last couple of years and finally found it. And I'm so happy I did. It is a heck of a drive in though. I mean, we are 30 miles into the Cascade foothills. We're at about 3000 feet elevation and not easy to get to at all. The roads are pretty sketch, but so glad I did. Full of brown trout. Who knew? So cool. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, 
give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And until the next time, fish on.